So my dogs this week figured out how to jump my fence and the dog gate for that matter, but most importantly, the fence. So I figured I'd show you a bit of the problem. We can hop this fence here. So I am going to possibly even round the corner, um, but this is a gate. Yeah, she can just jump right over it. to do it. Cool. It's fun watching your handiwork be destroyed. Hi, bud. You're a good boy. Rest in peace, chicken wire fence. It was a good run. About a week after I installed the fence, she climbed it when I had a friend over that gave her a reason to be crazy and desperate and I found her at the front door wanting to come back in. So my dad came down, uh, cause two hands are better than one. And we have come up with this solution. It's finished now. We weren't filming cause it's cold. It's um, snows on the ground. I'm gonna show you what we ended up doing. So this is the new fence solution that we've come up with. We've uh, sistered some two by fours. They're not even pressure treated. It, this is we're renting so if you wanted this to go the long haul I guess you could go pressure treated but you don't have to and this is about a quarter inch thick it's hog fencing we got it at tractor supply it was $25 for a 16 foot panel they cut it in half for us with bolt cutters for free so we had four eight foot panels and this is about a 25 foot area to cover we got some U nails, uh, three quarter inch Home Depot. We fixed those on here. And uh, yeah, she's pretty sturdy. I give her a good tug. She's not going anywhere. Um, then for the gate, because our gate is so janky, we went for, I don't know what this is, a one by three, who knows? I don't know. Um, so that we wouldn't have as much weight and we cut it down um, to be a little bit more inviting so that it's not like in your face when you're approaching the gate. Same thing, you nails, and then just for posterity, we kind of pinned one down there, but that's not really necessary. And uh, yeah, this junction, we it's not actually continuous here. We have two different attachments, but um, I've put the dogs to the test on it. You see right here, this is uh, my hip. So she was just easily hopping right here, especially with some packed snow on the ground. Yeah, no sweat. She was just getting right over it. And then even with the two feet of chicken fence, which this is 34 inches, she was stepping the chicken wire down, create a little platform for herself and then jumping from that platform. So we think this solution ought to do it. I mean, we did it real good, like some zip ties, no green spray paint, just dog jail. So let me know what you think about the solution. Um, if you guys have had this problem and uh, yeah, this all in all caught up, cost us uh, 50 bucks in hog fence. We have about an eight foot panel left over that I could probably sell and get some of that back. And um, yeah, two by fours are like a buck, two bucks, whatever. This project was definitely cheaper. It just required me to possess more tools that I didn't have. Um, a bolt cutter slash a grinder. We used a grinder for the majority of the project. Um, it required me to have a second pair of hands in a lot of situations. Um, and yeah, just generally have a little bit more confidence. So I wouldn't say this is a beginner DIY level project. And if you were gonna be a beginner and do this project um, as a dog deterrent fence, you definitely need a vehicle that can transport eight foot lengths of these fencing because they don't roll up like a chicken wire. They're really solid. Um, so they don't bunch up, she can't get over. Um, and 
all in all, I actually think it's a nice look of um, some family in Austin and you see a lot of this square hog fencing um, with these little trimmed out wood like square panels as their whole fence so it's like a clean see-through look um, pretty modern I like it uh, here it's just an option for us as renters to be able to stop the dogs from jumping the fence and still be able to take it down um, with unscrewing about four screws and pulling out like a few nails out of their fence so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think